Now activity page 43, I had shown this sum by formula method. Fatima had asked me how to solve this method, uh, this sum by completing the square method. Now in completing the square method, coefficient of a should always be 1. Over here it is 2. Other than 1, there should be no other coefficient over here. Since it is 2 over here, so divide throughout by 2. So 2x square upon 2 plus 13 upon 2x plus 15 upon 2 is equal to 0. Now this 2 and 2 will get cancelled so your equation will become x square plus 13 upon 2x plus 15 upon 2 is equal to 0. Now find out the third term. Third term is what? What is the formula of third term? b upon 2 the whole square. Over here b is what? 13 upon 2. So that is equal to 13 upon 2 and in the formula already 1, 2 is there, put that 2 and take the square. So that is equal to how much? 13 upon 4 the whole square that is equal to 169 upon 16. Now what is your equation? x square plus 13 upon 2x plus 15 upon 2 is equal to 0. Now take the 15 upon 2 on the other side. So your equation will become x square plus 13 upon 2x. Take the 15 upon 2 on the other side, you will get minus 15 upon 2. Now whatever you have got the third term, add this third term on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side. So what you will get? x square plus 13 upon 2x plus 169 upon 16 is equal to, now what is there on the right hand side, minus 15 upon 2 plus this third term that is 169 upon 16. So you will add 169 upon 16 on the left hand side also and 169 upon 16 on the right hand side also. Now your, it will become x square plus 13 upon 2x plus 169 upon 16 is equal to minus 15 upon 2 plus 169 upon 16. Now you have to equalize the denominator. In order to make this 16, I will multiply with what? 8 over here. So 8 in the numerator as well as on the denominator. You will get what? 120 minus 120 plus 169 upon 16. Over here this will remain as it is plus 13 upon 2x plus 169 upon 16. Now what is 120 minus 120 plus 169? When you subtract this you will get what? 49 upon 16. Now take the square root on both the side. Before taking the square root, uh, this is the equation of which term? x. Over here, this is a square of x, this is a square of 13 upon 4, in middle there is what sign? Plus, so I will put plus the whole square. So when I open this x plus 13 upon 4 the whole square by using the formula a square plus 2ab plus b square, you will get this. So this is the answer of this question that is equal to 49 upon 16. Now take the square root on both, both the side, what you will get? This square will go away, you will get x plus 13 upon 4 is equal to 49 is a square root of 7 and 16 is a 4. That is plus or minus, don't forget to put plus or minus, plus or minus uh, 7 upon 4. So what is the value of x? x is equal to uh, x plus x plus 13 upon 4 is equal to once you will take plus 7 upon 4 or x, x plus 13 upon 4 is equal to once you will take minus 7 upon 4. Now take this 13 upon 4 on the other side you will get x is equal to 7 upon 4 minus 13 upon 4 that is equal to when you subtract this what you will get minus 6 upon 4. So what is the value of x? x is equal to minus 3 upon 2. Similarly, when you take minus 7 upon 4, take this plus 13 upon 4 on the other side, you will get minus 7 upon 4 
minus 13 upon 4 that's equal to minus 20 upon 4 so what's the other value of x x is equal to minus 5 so uh, one of the value of x is minus 3 upon 2 and the other value is what minus 5 so by uh, formula method also we had got the same answer i'll show you by factorization method also Now activity page 43 I will show by factorization method. Now 2 into 15. 2 into 15 is equal to how much? That is 30 plus 30. Break this up you should get plus 13 by adding both the numbers. So how will you get 30? By multiplying 10 into 3. So 10 into 3 is 30 and 10 plus 3 is 13 since the middle term is plus. So both will be plus. So over here it will become 2x square plus instead of 13x you will write 10x plus 3x plus 15 is equal to 0. What is common over here? 2x is common x plus 5. Over here what is common? 3 into x plus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore 2x plus 3 and x plus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to minus 5. Therefore, x is equal to minus 3 upon 2 or x is equal to minus 5. So, you do by either formula method or factorization method or by completing the square method your answers will never change it will remain same so you can use any method to find out the uh, solution of x